All right, so now I'm picking up where we left off after doing a basic retarget with fixing the twist on the bones. And the first thing I want to showcase is what these buttons do. Uh, if you noticed, our previous retarget did not copy the translation. That is, the retarget kind of stood in place. I'll just show you that again quickly with a frame skip of 10. As you can see, he's moving in place. He's not moving forward like the original animation. To have him make forward, you have to mark which bones are feet bones. This is important because when we he walks forward, we don't want foot skate. We don't want the foot to skate along the surface. We want the foot to be firmly planted on the ground, the same as it is in the original animation. You can see the right foot does not move while the rig is moving forward. So you can select the feet or the toes. I'm going to go with the toes. Once again, trial and error is your best friend here. I'm going to hit retarget. Uh, when you retarget with the feet, it takes a little longer, but now you can see that it went through nicely. Again, a little bit of artifacting just because of the frame skip, but the bones are firmly planted. I'm just going to undo this and do it with a frame skip value of 1 so we really get the full feel of the animation. As I said, You can see the progress in the console window. And if you look at the user manual, I've marked a little snail icon for operations that take a little longer. So if something is taking a while, if it has a snail icon, probably everything's OK. It's just a bit of a slow animation. Uh, so now we can see that the animation is moving forward nicely. Now if you notice, while on the original animation, the root bone, in this case the hips bone, uh, has the location F curves, the location keyframes. But uh, when we retarget, we move that to an empty that's automatically created called stride bone. Uh, this helps in a lot of ways, especially with uh, game engine programming and things like path editing, which we'll see later on. Uh, if you don't want to work that way and you don't want to use some of the more advanced tools such as path editing or animation stitching, what you can simply do is copy over the F curves to your root bone and it will be it will look fine. Uh, so continue in the next tutorial and I'll showcase some of the uh, IK options, automatic and verse kinematics that the retargeting system has to offer.